I think that everybody in their lives. But then again, you know, I could be wrong about this. Yeah. But I think everybody in their lives has confronted the fact that they do not know. And I think this is true because it's a fact. See? Everybody doesn't know. And everybody at some point knows they don't know. <clears throat> Which is to say, you are born with nothing, basically, or little, very little, very little. See? And you have to learn. And so as you're learning, and you learn stuff, but you know, and at some point in there, maybe, you know, you're real busy learning stuff, like crawling and walking and then talking and stuff like that, so you're kind of busy. And then there's an, another domain, isn't there, about, you know, you, say, when you become, I'm here, say, self-reflective, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Prior to that, it's not really self-reflective. There may be a we self there, but it's not self-reflective. And that also creates a social domain. What do I do here? How do I be here? Who am I kind of deal, right? And right off, you know you don't know. So, in any case, I'm saying, you know, early on, there's this, I don't know, because you don't. You still don't know. But you've learned so much that you can, you know, spend a lot of time in what you know. <laughs> so you don't have to, don't have to touch on the not know part, right? Because I know so much. <clears throat> and when you're doing that, see, I was just watching something on microbiology, right? And uh, not just for the one. Anyway, and microbiology is one of the fields I thought about going into when I was, you know, playing with what to do, <laughs> you know. Brain surgery, neuroscience, microbiology. I thought about marine biology because it sounded like fun, <laughs> you know, and I like scuba diving. But I don't think that was really a serious contender. But anyway, and I was thinking, see, like, so now, you know, you put your mind, you put your mind on microbiology, and you're working on stuff there, either learning or, or discovering or, you know, experimenting, whatever, right? And see, and while you're doing that, it's all quite laudable good shit, right? See, but while you're doing that, there's, uh, there's not going to be a big sense of not knowing, except you don't know the answer, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're learning something, so you don't know what you have yet to learn. That's going to be there, of course. But this is an acceptable thing, you see. It's like, yes, I know, I don't know uh, everything about microbiology that other people have discovered, so I'm going to have to learn. You know, or I'm experimenting, I don't know how it's going to turn out. So I'm trying to discover something, I don't know what it is yet, because I haven't discovered it. So, so there's that not knowing, which is a, a, a very important not knowing. But as far as you personally, I don't know. See, I really don't know anything, basically. See, well, that's that fades away because you're busy with microbiology. So I'm saying you're busy with knowing. So you're working on knowing. Same kind of thing if you're involved in a belief system or you have your opinions or something. You say you're you're busy with that. You're busy with opinions. You're busy with believing something or. You know, and so not knowing isn't uh, an issue. It doesn't come up for you. Because you got this knowing, see? You got this knowing happening. But what I'm saying is that even though this knowing is happening, that you also don't know, and you have confronted the fact that you don't know at some point in your life. I don't think anybody could be so blind and so ignorant they wouldn't hit on that at some point, you know, if they don't know. And then what I, I'm I want to expand that a little bit and say that, you see, the this not knowing business, the fact that you deeply don't know, I mean existentially don't know, has been mistaken for a malady. 
has been mistaken for a disease, has been mistaken for a fault in you. See? And people go down all kinds of roads, and really, it's just that they don't know. And yet, when it becomes a fault or a malady, it often takes the shape of you know, fear, weakness, uh, incapacity, uh, you know, blah, blah, whatever. And these become then existential assumptions that you adopt just because you don't know. That's, that's a theory of mine and I'm sticking with it. Hi, I'm Brendan Lee and I've been studying with Peter Rawlson for 20 years. I really want you to know that no matter how many videos you watch or books you read, it pales in comparison to the power of the live workshops that we host here at the center or on Zoom. If you want to get serious and do work that makes a real difference, please check the links in the description to learn more. Thank you.